Welcome, my name is Will Troth and I'm a signalman at the preserved X to West signal box and I have kindly been asked by John Astley to show you this amazing signal box simulator by Blockpost Software. Blockpost Software has multiple simulators out there to download but today I'll be showing you the X to West advanced version. Um, this simulator can be downloaded as a demo as along with all the other ones and this is the simulator we use at the X to West signal box to train new trainees. The simulator, as far as I've been able to find out, is highly accurate. Uh, there are no faults with it apart from three things. The first is it won't permit you to work on the wrong line working in the wrong direction on the goods lines, which you can do in the real life. Uh, one or two of the lever leads or the the description plates on the levers um, don't a hundred percent match on the upline signals um, and you can't also send the 323 train with drawn back clear off section signal on the block bells apart from this it is the most advanced signal box simulator I've ever come across and it works really really well so I hope you'll enjoy this I've set the time to 0600 on the week timetable there's about four, three or four timetables you can choose from this is the weekday one uh, now in the weekday there would be one signalman and one booking lad filling in the train register answering the telephones and looking through the timetables so from the uh, you got here at the bottom you've got the timetable information it tells you rough in, information as the train number, the arrival time, departure time and where the engine or trains going to. In the middle you've got the status. It will show again the speed, location, they're the most important things. And you've got the train information, that will tell you all you shouldn't lose where they need to go to. Um, <clears throat> You can see we've got yellow levers, they control the distance signals, that's number 1 and 131A. Uh, red, they're all your stop signals and shunt signals. Uh, the white and black, they're detonators, they're an audible warning. If a train runs over them, they explode. Uh, blue levers, they're facing point locks, they lock your points. Black are points and these ones with the short handles, these are electric releases. You can see here they very accurately try to simulate the uh, block instruments and these indicators will move. Another thing you have to remember is you've got to plunge on a lot of these levers before you can pull the lever otherwise it will come up with an error. Uh, the one thing I will say about the block post simulations in general is that sometimes uh, the bell codes won't well it won't accept the bell codes uh, so, uh, the few times you, you click up with the mouse because it's just a simulation fault but for those who are thinking of getting a block post simulation with a laptop I highly recommend getting a wired mouse or a wireless mouse because it really does improve the simulator <clears throat> right let's press play I've got the time compression on uh, so it will speed up the time when there's nothing signalled Zoom in the uh, signal box. We've got 131 lever frame. Now the normal setup we start with is 110, 111, and 107, and that sorts out your clearing points on the downside. Just to uh, clarify. Uh, clearing points uh, in the signalling rules and regulations book uh, as a standard uh, you cannot accept a train from a signal box towards you um, until the line is clear 
a quarter of a mile, that's 440 yards, beyond your first stop signal. Now at Exeter West we have some special instructions because allowing a 440 yard clearing point beyond the first stop signal, as you can see it's a very busy junction, you'll, you'll virtually not be able to run anything. So, so long as the line is clear to 105 signal on the download platform you can accept a train which is why 107 is reversed. On the down main the line has to be clear to the two shunt signals here 98 99. On the down middle the line has to be clear to the two shunt signals um, <clears throat> or if you're going from the down main or the down middle onto the towards City Basin in Newton Abbott the line has to be clear up to the detonators 121. On the up road, track circuit Alpha Bravo, the track between two and three signals has to be clear. And if we're going to accept something from Central, we have to have the route into the platform. So, signal boxes as a rule they talk to each other and communicate via bell codes which you'll hear throughout this simulation and we use block instruments to provide a visual indicator as to the state of the line right so this is an engine whistling off shed and he needs to go to the good sidings and it's been a while since I've done this so you'll have to excuse the uh, slowness so that's 72 noted 55 um, 75, 78 What I also like about um, the simulation is you can pause it any time you like, you can speed it up, slow it down um, you've got a punctuality there so you can actually see how good you are click on this, you've got the train register book. I mean I prefer to write this out as I'm doing it, as you would in the signal box uh, but the simulator fills this in automatically for you I should point out the simulations are all set in 1960 uh, then if you click on this icon you've got a list of all the bell codes there's a lot of special bell codes at Exeter West because there's a junction uh, it's a very busy junction and it works with the middle box there's a lot of uh, through trains and trains which do lots of shunting and non through moves as well and then you've got the locking table which is very handy for those who want to study why they can't pull a lever so for example uh, number one is released it must have two three and four reversed number two you can pull it but when you pull it it locks 29, 42, 47, 61, 64, 74 in the normal position so and etc. And you've got seven pages of that so this engine is going to move off the shed and going to go into the spur and then we've got a southern goods which is going to come from extra central into the up middle platform There we go, just uh, hit the track circuit for 72. So this engine is going to come out from the sheds, go into the spur, and then it's going to go into the good sidings. As I say, this is the most accurate simulator I've ever come across for a signal box, and it's what we use to train trainees on when they join the um, X West group and they want to work the box. <clears throat> now, one of the rules is that in order to accept a train from Central, 
you have to have asked and received line clear from X to middle, except in the cases of light engines. In that case, uh, so long as the line is clear to signal number 37, you're allowed to signal the train and accept it. Right, that's offering the southern train and accepting it, and we need 48. <coughs> What's nice at Exeter West is you've got lots of interesting uh, bell codes, you've got a lot of shunting, train entering section, and you also have wrong direction moves, you've got bankers, which is actually really interesting because not a lot of people know how bankers are signalled on the railway and as I say you can spend hours and hours doing this you'll never be bored and what I like about this simulator is uh, you can choose which time the simulator starts at so if you want to start at nine o'clock then you can start at nine o'clock you want to start at six like I've just done now you can start at six So it gives you a lot of freedom. Central energy section. Yeah, extra um, on the up lines. As soon as the train hits your track circuits and you've got the boards off um, the signals. Um, you should be sending train in section. On the down, uh, you don't offer a train onto the next signal box until you've received uh, the train ready to start notification, or if it's the through train, uh, as soon as you get his line clear. So we'll have two bankers following this, and uh, what I do like about the advanced version is uh, it, it allows you to use the calling on signals unlike the basic version which you can also buy So in real life you could have accepted that train. Anyway, so these are the bankers coming down. And we'd have we've got a train coming down from the up mine is going to go into the up goods.
So the training up middle has just left our um, track circuits. So we'll be out of section in a second and we'll be able to um, offer forward these bankers. Now I've only sent one train entering section um, even though there are two engines coupled and that is because only one will go forward to middle, the other one will stop on this track circuit behind uh, Shunt Signal 93. Uh, we will then cross it over onto the up central line and then we'll put him in the, uh, the banking spur for the pilot engine. Unless you work this box regularly or that you use the simulator regularly, it is very easy to forget uh, which levers lock which for certain barcodes, all that sort of things. But this is a great piece for, for practicing. So these engines have stopped to uncouple. There we go, they've uh, split and this one engine's moving off. Put not 87 back. Train entering section from uh, City Basin. And we've still got this uh, block instrument to train online uh, because uh, the clearing, it, this engine is still within the clearing point. So as soon as he goes onto the up central line, we can uh, peg that off the block, as we call it, sending train out of section. Engine off shed and good sidings. Uh, right, shunt down main platform. So what I've done there is I've um, pegged out a section, <coughs> the central for that engine, who's been shunted into the uh, central spur. The engine which is whistled to come out of the good sidings is going to go into the downwind platforms. So I've had to ask, um, can I have permission to block back or move a train outside my home signal, which is 3-3, and uh, middle has replied, which allows me to do the move. And we've got out a section for the banker from middle. Engine off shed. 
you need to go to middle. Right. We'll do that when the uh, goods has gone through. Yeah, right. <laughs> 103. Once we've observed the tail lamp of this uh, goods train, we can uh, send out a section to City Basin. Earlier I pulled 106 points which isn't where we were going to go. It uh, should have been 103 points. Bit of a rookie mistake but I will. Right, I think we'll put this engine on the up main. That's this engine off shed, 232, light engine not running through the station. That's just telling um, middle box that the uh, reversing move into the down main platform has uh, drawn to a stand. We use a special bell code for that. Three, three, four. That was um, X to Middle asking is line clear for a uh, southern region passenger train, sorry, goods train to proceed up to X to Central um, because we don't want to be sending it th straight the way through, straight away. Uh, it's going to be stopped at our home signal. 
and um, because that's our clearing point is here we only want to say the line is clear to clearing point so we are authorised under regulation 4A to accept the train under 222 that basically just tells Middlebox to keep his distance at caution because the braking distance at full line speed uh, is not sufficient from our distance signals to our home signal because they're so close together Oh, another engine. Right. 55, 72, 75, 78. Good. 234. That's engine to Shadow Riverside Yard, and because we're coming from Shed, it's to Riverside Yard. You can see I've done four hours so far, I mean, it's a fairly easy mistake. But there's one thing you do now, is uh, you learn from them, and there's the error log, so you can look at exactly what you've done. So when this southern goods train comes on the down main, we'll get this uh, pilot engine out of the spur and onto the front ready for departure. So in the 24 hour session that is on this timetable, and there's three or four different timetables you can choose from, there are 397 trains to signal. So you kept very busy, and uh, trust me, when you're actually in the box pulling the levers and doing all the bells, it is a lot of walking up and down the frame, and it's a lot of work. And I should mention that anyone who wishes to visit X to West Signal Box, um, and would like you go at pulling the levers and uh, <laughs> being signalman, then please by all means visit. I mean, uh, at the moment, because of COVID restrictions, we aren't open, but as soon as the Crew Heritage Centre is open, in line with government guidelines, um, I'm pretty sure, you know, we'll welcome you with open arms. It's been uh, almost a year, two years now since we've had members of the public in the box and uh, it'd be great to see a lot more new faces and if anybody wants to be a member to work the signal box officially uh, both to show members of the public and privately then you can do uh, by 
joining, becoming a member of the X2S group and applying to be a signalman. Training is in the winter. At weekends, you pick and choose which training turns you want to do. And when you feel confident enough and you've passed a basic theory exam about how you work the box, you do your practical. And as long as the assessor deems you competent enough to work the frame, then uh, you are a signal. It is really good fun, and you meet a lot of great people. So I highly recommend it if that's something you want to do. Then please, by all means, uh, have a look on the uh, x 2 Group website, and you'll find all the information there. And even if you don't want to uh, become a signalman and just want to uh, support the group, then please, by all means, do. Membership's only £1 a year at this point in time anyway, so... Um, Right, that was training train section. Right, let's get this uh, 96. Let's get this uh, pilot on the move. So I should mention it's uh, one pound a month rather than one pound a year for the uh, membership. But I uh, highly recommend uh, looking at the other simulations available from Block Post Software. They do uh, Ford Sussex, Barnum Junction. There are two nice southern ones, and Port, Port Creek Junction, Yapton Crossing, which is a very basic, simple crossing. <coughs> ideal for the beginner although for the beginner I would recommend Ford because it is not as boring as Yapton and there's a bit of shunting involved so you get a good uh, broad taster into um, signalling There we go, wrong lever again. Right, that was the train uh, ready to start from platform one. I'll put that on. Line clear, I see from City Basin. See, the block indicator's gone to uh, line clear. Could be a bit late. Engine's moving down, and then we'll get this engine on the front. Once that's on the front, we'll get the uh, passenger train on its way.
Here's that <coughs> tread out a section on the down platform. Parcels train, platform one. That sped will just let me know that the banker has been attached to the back of the train on the down main. And I must remember to forward that on to Central when sending train entering section. That's a good train. Right. This will be the uh, down main um, Southern Railway goods departing. In fact, which one was that?
Right, well that's nice. My uh, <laughs> computer's decided to uh, crash the game at that point, but um, I should like to thank everybody for uh, watching this rather amateurish video. It's, as I say, it's the um, first time I've been asked to do this by uh, John, and I appreciate him for uh, allowing me to do this. And I hope that uh, we can see one or two of you attend x 2 Signal Box as a visitor or as a member in the future. And uh, please, by all means, uh, have a look at these magnificent simulators by um, Blockpost Software.